Yo, what is up guys? It's Pedro here and in today's video I will be giving you guys five tight ends that I think the Washington football team should target in this year's draft. So make sure you guys stick till the end to see who I end up picking. So if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe for Washington and NFL content. So let's get right into the video. All right, and I will be giving you guys some targets from different rounds. So, you know, second and third round and maybe some mid round and late round targets for the Washington football team at the tight end position. So obviously the tight end position is definitely, an, you know, an area where we need to approve upon, you know, Logan Thomas is great, but we need some depth at that position because, you know, when you have two tight ends that can, you know, are solid pass catchers, that opens up the offense a lot. And we really have no one behind Logan Thomas right now. I think we still have Marcus Bond and a couple other guys, but really no one that would be a good number two. Really, guys, we don't have a number two caliber tight end on our team. So we definitely need to address this position in, you know, at least I would say early portion of the draft, like second, third, fourth round pick in that range. Got to address the position. Um, and I'm going to give you guys a few targets right here. So obviously, it would be amazing if we went after Kyle Pitts or if we had the opportunity to get him. But that's not going to happen. He's going to go in the top five. And if we were to trade up, it wouldn't be for Kyle Pitts. It would likely be for a quarterback. So that's out, out of the window. But he is an amazing tight end prospect. So the first prospect is Brevin Jordan. A lot of people... Uh, like him, you know, a lot of Washington football team fans like him. He's about six foot three, 245 pounds, put a little bit more weight on. This past year in 2020, had about 38 catches, 576 yards, 15.2 yards per catch, seven touchdowns. So, you know, he is super athletic. I, you know, I think he ran like a 4640 around that um, and like a 31 inch vertical. So, not as explosive as you would like, but he's, you know, pretty strong. Uh, like I said, he has a solid frame, six foot three, two hundred forty-five pounds. He gives you, you know, he's a really, really good pass catcher um, at that tight end position. Gets a lot of yards after catch. He's kind of like he's definitely a tight end, but he's a little bit of a mix between a wide receiver and a tight end. Pretty quick, sometimes even used in the screen game, um, which the Washington football team actually did a little bit of that with Logan Thomas this year. But I really like him, and I think in that, you know, I don't, I think second round might be a little bit too early, but definitely with one of our third round picks, if he's there, I would jump on it. I think he's a great prospect. And really, the only concern, he's had a bit of injury uh, issues these last couple of years. He's missed some games, and he's had a, you know, a few different injuries. So that is something to keep your eye out on. But besides that, I really, really like. The prospects. So next player is Pat Fryermuth, and I like Jordan a little bit more just because I think it's more realistic for the Washington football team. But Pat Fryermuth uh, from Penn State this past year, you know, six foot five, two hundred fifty-eight pounds, and he had, you know, he didn't have an amazing year. Had three hundred ten yards and one touchdown. <clears throat> a little bit of a down year from the years before. The quarterback situation wasn't great, and you know, the team as a whole was pretty bad four and five this past season but you know the years before that had 15 touchdowns in two years I think he's going to be a second round pick but I don't necessarily love the fit with Washington so you know he's probably not even going to be there in the second round and I'm not sure if I would go towards you know draft him in the second I think I would rather go for a tackle or a linebacker depending on what we do in the first round and I think Brevin Jordan is a better value pick if we can get him in that early third round range with our first third round pick but Firemuth is a solid guy and is the second best tight end or second best ranked tight end at least this year in the draft so would be obviously a solid option but I like Jordan a little bit more the next guy is Tommy Tremble and when I say like him a little bit more I like him a little bit more you know value wise so now in a Tommy Tremble and you know he's about six foot four 250 pounds and you might look at the stats and say how is this guy projected to be you know a somewhat early round pick the third fourth round pick and you know you look at his stats this past season 19 catches for 218 yards and no touchdowns you would like those stats to be a little bit higher but here's the thing he's an amazing blocker he's probably the best blocking tight end in this class he's a very good and they just didn't use him enough in the past 
passing game, you know, as a pass catcher. They had a couple other tight ends they used as well. So, you know, I would I like Tommy Tremble, really really good blocker that could you know, could get playing time right away as a blocker and could develop into a solid pass catcher. I like him. Got a you know, as a solid frame, uh, you know, and you know, he played behind Cole Komet uh, last year, so I think this would be a good pick. Not really sure where he's gonna go, but would be a solid fit in Washington because he's a really good uh, blocker that has the potential to be a, a de to develop into a solid pass catcher in the future. So I like him, and you know, these guys, next couple guys, might be a little bit more developmental guy. But Jacob Harris from UCF, so he is a wide receiver, but a lot of teams are asking him to be a tight end, and I really like this prospect. You know, Logan Paulson says, or he said, you know, on one of his film breakdowns or on a podcast, something like that, he said he thinks he could transition to tight end, and he thinks that he would be a good fit for the Washington football team. So he's about six foot five, two 211 pounds, and I'm not sure how much weight he put on for the pro day, but I, I assume that he did put some weight on, and I think that if he does get drafted, he's going to have to put on some more weight. But he ran a 4.39, which is absolutely insane. This past year, he had about 30 catches, 539 yards, and eight touchdowns. And, you know, the Washington football team, I mean, they – uh, according to John Kime, they really like these guys that have transitioned from other positions to tight end. They have one in Logan Thomas, and they have a couple other guys on their roster at the tight end position that did the same thing. So I think Jacob Harris would be a solid option. Uh, not sure where he's going to go, but he might go earlier than a lot of people think at that you know wide receiver slash tight end position. But a lot of teams are starting to ask him to uh, B tight end so gonna be interested to see where he goes and where he gets drafted you look at 2019 he averaged 23.6 yards a catch that is absolutely insane had one touchdown that year next year eight touchdowns Th those are really eye-popping numbers super athletic as well so uh, I would like us to take a f you know look at him and the next guy is Zach Davidson didn't really play at a big school at all but he's a good prospect he's about six foot seven 245 pounds and played at central missouri probably going to be a later round pick but a very interesting prospect um played you know central missouri and had you know 40 receptions 894 yards in 13 games you know you look at some of his you know strengths um, and weaknesses. He's got a good stance with good quickness. He's very interesting. Was pretty hard to find a lot of highlights, especially from this past season. But you know, would be a solid de developmental guy. Really tall, six foot seven. Uh, so would be interested in him as well. So those are kind of five different guys that I think the Washington Football Team should look at. Some of those guys, you know, early round picks. You know, second. Um, and third round picks with Brevin Jordan and Tommy Tremble might be that guy as well. And then Jacob Harris and Zach Davidson that are more developmental guys in the later rounds. So let me know what you guys think about these five guys and let me know what position I should do next for which position we should draft or, you know, players at a certain position that we should draft. So I'll make a few more videos on those. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you guys are new and hit those or hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Peace.